All right, so this is what are you saying if you're just joining the conversation. We have with us Dr. Blaze Ijebo. Remember, you can join the conversation. Twitter us at Plus TV Africa or at Waze Show Africa One with the hashtag Waze and send your SMS and WhatsApp messages to 081-8038-4663. Now, Sanzi, your other question before we went on the break. Um, I think my other question was, um, the second one was um, BBN verification, which I think he had. He started he answered, with, yeah, yeah, what he was the first question with, then? Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> now we have too many things to talk about. <laughs> yeah. well, you were talking about, you were talking about, um, about fraud in the, in the banking sector that we said when BVN came, it would, it would reduce right, the fraud. Right, internet but, banking. But what you are seeing is yes, that thank you know, you. Yes. fraud has, has increased over that time. What can we do to protect mm -hmm. ourselves? Right, thanks. Okay. So there are a couple of things. First of all, um, the first thing I'll say is that do make sure you have a strong password. It's like having a beautiful house, well furnished, all the stuff in it, and you don't have a door, or you have a door that somebody can kick in and just walk through. So you need to have a good password. And what is a strong password? Let it, ha let it have as many, so many things. characters <laughs> yes, in, it, in it that, that it's difficult to guess. Let it not be your name or your I hope you two don't forget the password. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> Oh. But try and get try and do it in a way that you will remember. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, uh, and if you forget, you know uh, it doesn't matter. You, you also have to be you also have to change your password regularly, yeah. and and don't reuse your password. Or have okay. this at the back of your mind. Yahoo, many of us have Yahoo account. Mm -hmm. Yahoo has lost um, about three point five billion account details in the last ten years. Oh. Lost. How? So people have been able to access it, mm -hmm. and that is available on the dark net. You can buy it. Wow. You are wow. kidding me. So you have your, 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 How your do email, I email address. Email address is what well, you have to go to the dark net, and I would advise you to go there. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. so, so if you had a password that has, is available um, uh, uh, on the dark web, yeah. they can buy it, and they can try it whether it works for your Yahoo, whether it works for your bank account. Wow. All right. So, so. Change your, your, your password regularly and don't reuse the old ones so you, so you don't get caught in that. Mm -hmm. The other thing you need to do is you need to be informed, right? Yes. I, I, you know, I'm, I, my background is in pharmacy, so yeah. I, I, say, I say this to people. You have to take care of your health. You have to pre pre protect yourself. You have right. to have information about what is good for your health. Same Absolutely. thing with internet fraud. You have to find out what is good, what the fraudsters are doing today, and avoid it, avoid it. all right? Um, common one they do, they call you up and they say, we want your your PIN and your account details. And yeah, that we yes. notice yeah. there's so, so, yeah. something, something wrong. wrong. Your transaction. CBN has blocked your BVN and, yeah. and your account. You can, yes. you know, and, and people still fall victims for yeah, those things. So, so, yeah. so you, need to, you need to arm yourself with information. information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, another common thing is if you're doing internet banking, uh, and you look at the website address, always make sure it's HTTPS, not HTTP. Hmm. Okay? Um, mm. Simple things like that. Right. Um, wow, okay. If you, if you, so if oh, it's HTTPS, that's It means it's secure. It means it's secure. secure. Okay, with, with the S is a secure, right. Secure. Okay. And then you have a padlock at the end, which means right. it's encrypted. So right. th those those two things tells you that this website is reasonably true. genuine. Right. But if you see a, a website that also has spelling mistakes, the grammatical errors, mm -hmm. because they also clone websites, so they use it to collect your data yes. uh, and, and all of that. If you see that the website you're used to has changed. Um, so I, raise a red flag. Yeah, just really, don't, don't do the transaction. You find another way to do it. I'll come back later or ask people, have they changed their website and, and that kind of thing. So, so, so that, those are the kind of, some of the things. Um, don't share your pain. You know, you know, yeah, don't well, give it to anybody. Anyway. Well, <laughs> it's just convenient. It's yeah, it, feels, <laughs> it feels very convenient, but you know, it, it, you pay for it yeah. at some point. Oh. Um, so, and then you... also be careful what you share online. Mm -hmm. Be careful what you share online. I mean, so there what people... can you not share? <sighs> Look, if there's anything that can easily personally identify you, don't share it. With this age where they say that you need internet presence to be able to grow your exactly, brand. Yeah, no, 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 no. You can grow your brand. Right. That's not a problem. But don't don't give out, for instance, your date of birth. Um, uh, yes. 
Don't, don't do it. They talk to a little too late. People yeah. on TV. Just change it. So, but hang on. Everybody knows your date of birth. But hang on. So, what, yeah, if, what if date of birth, if I just give the month and the day and the not the year? Yeah, that that's enough? fine. Okay. Or you give the month and the year. Okay. So, not so, so Don't give your food. Right. Don't when give we're your always food. celebrating birthdays on Instagram. <laughs> if they know your age, <laughs> then you can trace it. the year. Yeah. That's well, true, actually. Well, just find a way not to give, okay, not to make it easy. For all those people asking, how not old to make are it, you? Yeah. Now well, I have to validate, yeah, validate you. You have to tell them your age, no problem. The lady is always 21. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's she. forever 21. <laughs> That's so not I, a problem. I was going to say something. Yeah. So would you say that it's a breakdown in value systems yeah. or the the um, increase in multiple channels for transactions that has given a rise to the fraudulent, fraudulent and even more complex um, fraudulent activities, right? So some people say it's because like you said, people like greedy, is it on, on unemployment or is it just because yeah. there's, you know, okay. technology? Multiple payments. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. I, I like to translate things to simpler, um, you know, everyday stuff. Sure. The cars that we drove 20 years ago were very rugged. They don't break down as much as uh, the cars that we have today with all the electrical gizmos. But right. will you will you give up all those gizmos and go back to the oh old days? Nah. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, I am not vintage like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. but, but the more the more you advance, right. the more points of failures and the more points of attack right. Look old. are open. Right. So that's right. the same thing with internet. So the more we advance and the more we have more convenient Option. ways of paying, mm -hmm. more convenient ways of doing transactions. Yeah. Obviously, the first ones have more points of contact that they can interfere infiltrate, with yeah. and infiltrate and they can cross more. So wow. that's why you're seeing that. Okay, right. so but as we go along, what yeah. we do is that with education, with understanding what they're doing and taking yeah. steps to protect ourselves, we can only stay Okay, uh, okay so you are the risk management expert. Yes. Right, you're a consultant. No. <laughs> no, you are consulting for us now. Okay, okay. <laughs> On ways, you are welcome. Right, okay. <laughs> so what is the biggest risk we would okay. face, you know, as a shortfall for this cyber, um, in the internet fraud, the rise in internet fraud? What, like if we're projecting the next, yes, as a country in the next five years, and you know, what is the biggest risk that you have seen? You I know? mean, to me, I think the, the, the biggest risk is that we won't grow as fast as we should grow. We won't get the benefits of the growth in our economy and the capacity of our people as we should get. Those are the risks. Um, however, we have mitigants against that. And if we start to put those mitigants and promote those mitigants and tell our story. Um, I, I, let me use a, an example. You know, okay. I, I'm totally out of risk management. <laughs> Recently, the American government banned Nigerians from having... Um, Babies. Well, not babies. <laughs> <laughs> not, they, not that far. They don't get that far yet. They banned American, Nigerians from accessing any immigration route that will lead to settlement. Okay? Right. Yeah. Um, uh, and, you know, somebody came and said, look, listen, you're making a big mistake, all right? What is the criteria on the basis on which you are doing this? Mm -hmm. um, if you look at Nigerians in the U.S., they are the most educated group of people in the US. So effectively what you are doing is you are blocking access for Americans to have access to the most intelligent people and the most educated people in the world. Yes. Is that a brilliant idea? No. But but he sold that story so well and I think that's the way we should go on selling our story about Nigeria. Hmm. We should stop allowing people to tell us that we are the most fraudulent people. country in yeah. the world. We are not. Yeah. So we have the responsibility. We, it's our responsibility to go to and our tell our story. Fantastic. Yeah. So um, someone is asking a question on WhatsApp. It says, um, Highways, how is CBN involved in administering recovered loot? And how much loot was recovered in 2019? Yeah. <laughs> He's not here in the capacity of CBN. Yeah, you have, to, you have to say that. I have to say that again. Saying. But in case you want to answer it, that's yeah, the question. Send the direct question to the... To the CBN government. The, the, the director of uh, corporate communication. Okay. Be but, but, but there's a process, definitely. There is a process. There is a there process. Is a process. Uh, the, the process is verified and validated process that, that, that is involved in any loot that is recovered uh, goes through a process. Okay, so right. with money laundry, 